Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sutton's Days and to Monday Night Live. You guys are cracking me up here tonight. Just cracking me up. V is going to start a sit-in over, was it a sit-in? Oh, I don't know. I started laughing so hard over cranberry sauce. So for anybody that doesn't know, hello, Sweden. I don't like commercial gelled cranberry sauce. Uh, yeah. It's right there with spam. And so there's going to be a revolt. There's going to be a revolt and V is heading it up, heading it up. So check out V from ID for that. Hey, Shonda, drive careful, my friend. Okay. So everybody, please always and forever join me in giving a big round of applause to our amazing moderators. We have Charlie Marcus, Charmy Bradbury, Jump Off a Cliff. We have Amy Faye, Darcy from the Purposeful Pantry. We have MI Camp 45 HC Greg. And we have Brian, six foot three inches of Spam and Cranberry Sauce Sandwich V. Yes. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Monday Night Live, the fastest hour of Monday. It's going to be fantabulous. Absolutely great. So I'm going to put on my little my little timer here, and we're going to do two minutes of the Zoomies. Where are you coming from tonight? I saw we had Sweden, Kansas, Ohio. I see Southeastern Michigan popped into the house. Good to see everybody. It's It's been a cold, wet, rainy day. Fried Spam for the bread and cranberry. Yeah, Michigan, Alabama. We have Colorado, Texas, Alabama, I, 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 Arizona, Colorado. Ah, Saskatchewan made it, Texas. Hello. Grew up in the upper middle class. That uh, Yes, South Carolina, Missouri, Texas, Florida, Georgia, Quebec, Idaho. We have Kansas. Missouri, Kentucky, Arkansas, Norway is in the house. Hello, Sven. We have Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, Kentucky, California, Dakota, North Dakota, I mean. St. Clair is in the house. Yay. We have Australia. Good morning, Jan. We have the Netherlands. Hello, Elmira. Very nice to meet you. We have Georgia. We have Kentucky. We have California. The picket lines. V, -I -V, -V is now starting a complete... Picket line for cranberry sauce. We have Arkansas, Michigan, Colorado, Pennsylvania, Indiana. Hello, Lapeer. We have Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, Woodstock is in the house. We have California, Ohio, Georgia, Mo I don't even know that. Manana, Manana. There you go, Manana. Hey, check that out. New Orleans, Wisconsin, Indiana, Texas, Texas. Maine is in the house. We have Char. Undisclosed bunker in the north woods of Michigan. We have MI Camp. We have Missouri, Florida. Ocala is in the house. Carolina, North Carolina, Kentucky, Mississippi, Tulsa time. I like that. Tulsa time. We have Coleman, Texas. We have nine seconds left. Get them in while you can. It's going to be a great night. We have Nuevo is in the house. Puerto Rico. There you go. We have Alma, Michigan, Iowa, South Carolina, and time is up. Yes. Okay. Colorado, Ontario, another Idaho. Hello, everybody. And how is everybody doing on this Monday Night Live? It's going to be so much fun. Ooh, 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 Jill Miller. Okay, I have to I have to get my ducks in a row here. And so far, they're just all crackers. Um, Jill made the cranberry sauce last year from the video, No More Star. I'm telling you, that stuff is the bomb. I'm going to redo the video again this year. But um, it's actually coming out later this week. But yes, hello, Flint, a new pantry pal, Victoria Marks. No, she's not new. She's been a member for 12 months. Hello, Flint. Good to see you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that um, that cranberry sauce is the bomb. Yeah, so really good stuff. And that is all I'm doing. I did. For anybody that's in the group that saw it, I actually did. Those, those uh, cranberry sauces that were on the counter, I fed them to the chickens today. I did. Yes. And if you hear a ding, 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 we apparently have a herd of deer sitting in the front yard uh, setting off the driveway alarm. Because why not? Okay. I make cranberry sauce, cranberry pear sauce every year. Ooh, that sounds good too. That sounds really good. Yep. Does, does Sam's Club have a good deal on um, 
cranberries. I I'm not buying any this year. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not, you can't make me, I'm not buying any this year. I have a freezer full of cranberries. Yeah. So I'm going to be using all frozen cranberries. We're doing all things cranberries. Yes, we are. It's going to be fantabulous. Oh, Diane. Where'd that go? Where'd that go? Where'd that go? You made my cranberry sauce yesterday and sent some to your granddaughter. So cool. So very cool. Pike Creek Farm is in the house. Hello, Pike Creek Farm. What do you consider a herd? Well, it's dark outside and they're playing the hokey pokey out there. So yeah, I call five or more. I don't know. More than one. Um, you say that, but if there's a deal, we know what will happen. No, I have no more freezer space. They're going to call for an intervention soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so LIDL, -L not Aldi, but LIDL has baking supplies. Good sale this week to Wednesday. Ooh, look at that. Go take advantage of that and stock up. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Reverend Tex Watson, thank you very much for the super chat. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate the support of the channel. Oh, that reminds me. Thank you very much, the Reverend Tex Watson. I appreciate it. Um, real quick, you guys, there's still a link down below. This is last call. On Friday, I'm shutting down the um, fundraiser for the food bank. And uh, if you are so compelled to uh, donate, the GoFundMe is there. Please do not send it to me. Um, please do not do a, a super chat or anything like that for it. It needs to go through the GoFundMe. But I appreciate everyone that has contributed for the food bank. Absolutely. The food bank is not done yet, Cliff. Um, so we, we have not hit our goal yet. We're so close, but we have not hit our goal yet. So um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping tonight, this week, but thank you very much. Darcy put the chat up there um, and yeah, I'll, I'll have a follow-up for you guys. I will definitely have a follow-up for you guys. <coughs> Pardon me. There you go. Seriously. I think my homemade cranberry sauce is why I get invited to Turkey Day, right? I have six full freezers, so what is too many? I guess that depends because I've got two full and one that's not plugged in. And I'm not going to plug it in because electricity is stupid. So, um, yeah, if I cannot, if, if I cannot in my brain convince myself that I can get that all into jars or preserved to some extent uh, within a two to three day period after the power goes out for an extended period of time um, where I don't lose anything in there, then it's too much. Yep. Um, okay. So Robin Butt says that it needs 735 more dollars. That's all we have to raise to meet the goal. 735 more dollars. Hello, Wayne Kilner, Chuck Norris. Thing. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yep. Turkeys, 59 cents a pound. We're thinking about making a run up there. Part of me is like, maybe if we just wait another week, they'll be cheaper here in town. Oh, and Brian V is taking care of business. Okay. I have a sauce to share. I took blueberry jam and added, okay, where'd that go? Blueberry jam and added Dijon mustard to make a sauce for my chicken. The family loved it. Yeah, that would be good. That would be really good. Um, why not put it in jars now? Because honestly, I would only jar up all of that in an emergency because I do like some chicken that's not canned and I do like some pork that's not canned and I do like some beef that's not canned. But if it's can me or lose me, it's going in a jar. Um, let's see. Chuck wants to join the book club. Okay. You're, you are, did, did it just say hello, cat Chuck Norris? 
Okay. Um, Chuck Norris is now part of Pantry Pals. And so now you are part of the book club, which is going to bring us around to the next doohickey right here. So I am going to, okay, everybody stop typing. What is the goal? The goal for the food bank is $5,000. That's my goal. Ooh, you've got, ooh, ooh. Okay, you guys are teasing. We're never going to get to topic at this rate. Greg says, somebody's got jars for you. Do you need my address? Do you, do you, huh? Do you, huh? Do you just want to meet up in town? Like a clandestine meeting up in town? Hey, crazy grandma, we as Pantry Pals explain. Okay, so I'll explain Pantry Pals in just a second. I need everybody to stop typing. Stop typing. Okay. And... <clears throat> okay, uh, Greg, email me. Okay, so um, everybody stop typing. Whoa, nope, stop, 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 stop. Okay, so uh, we have to give it, I have to, I have to just let nobody, no, nobody type for a minute, okay, because I don't, because there's a 60 second lag there where you can't type every 60 seconds, right? Okay, so I need you to pick. So first, let me explain a little something. Don't type. No typing. No chat. We have a couple of giveaways here from Chuck Norris because Chuck Norris is the bomb.com. The bomb.com. I went to the post office today. I freaked out my mailman by taking him, not my mailman, the, the guy that runs the post office, um, by taking him a loaf of bread. It was funny. He's like, what did I do? <laughs> I can't do that. Okay. Excuse me. Michigan weather, 53 today. Sinus is going ballistic. So we are going to be giving away this book. I will be mailing it to you. And it is courtesy of Wayne Kellner, otherwise known as Chuck Norris. Okay. So the first person to pick the number that I just wrote down between 1 and 25 gets the book. Mm -hmm. So it is for Going Home by A American. She was sent an extra one. And so we are giving that away. So if you are interested in that book, then the first person that I see that picks the number that I wrote down. So it's it's how it appears to me, not how it appears to you guys. Okay. So I wrote that number down and whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So we can slow the roll here because we have we have somebody. And I have to find it. There it is. Wah. Come on. Why is it not showing? There we go. Michelle Holmes. Okay. Number 16. Can you even see that? Number 16. Yep. Congratulations, Michelle Holmes. Michelle, um, email me at Sutton's Days at Outlook.com with your mailing address, and I will get that mailed off to you, and you will have a copy courtesy of Chuck Norris, a.k.a. Wayne Kellner. AKA Kathy. Okay. So that is the first giveaway that we have today. So congratulations, Michelle Holmes. Okay, guys, we're going to do this really, 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 really down and dirty. Are you ready? Okay. So if you are in the Facebook group, or if you see my Facebook page, or if you watch the community section of the channel on YouTube, okay, then I asked everybody the same questions. What kinds of the same question today. What kind of non-food preps should you have? And I was so impressed with so many of the answers. I mean, wild, wildly good answers. Okay. So I thought we would talk about that for a hot minute here tonight, just real quick. So it's non-food, no food, right? But what are some important preps that you should have for your pantry per se? And the one that a lot of people miss Oh, look at that. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, you guys are on it, right? Hydrogen peroxide, right? Char, I saw that. Um, meds, tears, tires. Hey, Ginger. Um, batteries, bullets, and band-aids. Thanks, Greg. Hand warmers. That's a good one. I like that. Sewing supplies, vodka. There you go. All things, camping, seeds, female hygiene, lamp or kerosene oil, TP, diaper, socks. Oh my gosh, I can't keep up. Look at this going crazy. Candle, spices, manual can opener, gauze, medive. Huh? 
Kathy Thompson, are you trying to mess with my brain? Um, extra socks, water tablets, a portable cooker. Yes. What is my favorite portable cooker? The person, the first person to name my favorite portable cooker gets this version, this, this, this hardcover book, my favorite cooking, uh, alternative cooking option. The first one that mentions it right here gets this, which was also donated. Becky Brown, you're the bomb. Becky gets it. Becky gets it. Becky Brown, I have to find you on this other chat here. This is a little challenging. Okay, so this book was also thanks to um, Chuck Norris, Wayne Kellner, Kathy Kellner. Um, there you go. Becky Brown. Becky Brown won this book. We're sending this one to you. Um, so email me, Becky Brown at Sutton's Days at Outlook.com. Please put five years after in yours. Um, let me write that down. My secretary quit. Okay. There we go. Um, I want to make sure I'm sending the right book to the right people because that would be bad, right? So thank you, number one, um, Kathy, Wayne, Chuck Norris, for um, sending me those books to gift off to other folks. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys are the bomb. So yes, my favorite alternative cooking is a fondue pot. It is so remarkably easy. All you're doing is heating it, okay? Um, however, just as a side note, don't store it on top of your upright freezer and then try to wiggle stuff out of your upright freezer unless it's really secure because I literally have a bump on my head right here where it fell on my head, okay? Doreen Crawford, thank you for asking. Um, he is doing very good. They have. He is no longer going to wound care. Where did that go? Um, he is no longer going to wound care. He has four more weeks now, I think. A fun do pot. Yes, there you go. He's no longer going to wound care. Um, he has to wear the boot for four more weeks and bandage for three more weeks, I think, or two more weeks. And he, he's getting specially made shoes. Yep. Uh-huh. I have a cat on my upright freezer. Okay, that's funny. It's a fun do pot. Yes, Brian. Um, thank you. Thank you. So Chuck Norris, that's our Chuck Norris right there, um, made those books possible for everyone. So thank you very, very much. I need a, I do need a PA. Yeah. Okay. The sky is falling. No, it's the fondue pot. Darn it. Okay. Um, oh, look at you, Becky. Congratulations. That's awesome. Uh, Patriot Chick, I don't know that you were timed out. No idea. Um, there is, okay, for anybody that's new here, there is slow mode on this because there's um, a lot more of you than there is of me, and the chat gets crazy, right? Okay, finally made it through the comments. Look, I already have, I have already missed a lot. Yes, Tammy, I'm sitting right here and I have to. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's get back to, did anybody say water filter or purification tablets? What kind of alternative water uh sourcing do you have in your non-pantry preps toss that up yes charlie 548 folks typing all at one time moves fast mm -hmm. spring hey grit and grace oh good okay good to know hey Sus. break those shoes and slowly hubby got a sore from doing it too quick Alexa Pure, Zero Water, My Berkey, Canned Water, Iodine Drops, Berkey, Brita, and Extra Filters, Berkey, None, and C. Is that how you say it, and my, my, my Sweden friend? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but you have to find some way to obtain or purify water. Um, Life Straw, Berkey, Berkey, since Berkey cannot ship to Iowa... Berkey can't be shipped to Iowa either. Iowa and California. Who else can't get a Berkey? Chlorine dioxide. A DIY Berkey. There you go. Life straws, Sawyer, a Brita filter. Okay to use. Um, so Chuck Norris, a Brita filter, it won't purify your water per se. Not like a emergency water situation. 
Charlie has a spring. Alexa Pure for the house. Yep. Our well has an overflow we can access. You can use a shungite to... What's shun? Oh, see? Don't move. Okay. You can use a shungite to filter water. I don't know what that is. And so now I'm intrigued. Also activated coal. Yes, activated coal, yes. But I'm not, I'm not familiar with that first one. Hey, Tigger 454. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, we've also got we've always got that, but you have to be careful with that too. Um water is in Lake Stream. Set up your delivery address in Omaha. Have it sent to an Amazon delivery locker. Ooh, there you well, that depends on how far away you are. Can you then boil? Can you boil then, Britta? Um, I'm going to hesitate here for a minute because you can boil it and you can Brita it, but I don't think that those two combined get it as clean as you should. Do you know what I mean? Um, we'll, we'll go through this in a little bit. You know, that is something to think about if you've got kids. Of course, that gets expensive too. But um, what about shoes for kids in bigger sizes? Absolutely. I'll be the first to tell you that I'm not I'm I'm not real good about thinking outside the box for kids. So any ideas like that, I'm gonna have to take it from other people's. Um yeah, that 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 post just about okay thanks char um i don't think that you i don't think that you have to can the water just for the sake of canning the water it's never a bad idea just to have some canned water um but to fill all of your jars full of water and can it means you're doubling your lid usage I think there are better ways to do it. I just think there are better ways to do it. Okay, so somebody asked, um, what is a Berkey? A Berkey water filter system. Berkey water filter. Um, for a very long time has been like the Cadillac of water filtration. That's Sawyer. Um, so it's, yeah, now there's Alexa Pure. Yeah, it's, it's a water filtration system. I was trying to think of some other names there. And doubling fuel usage, yes. Okay, so you guys are all over it with your backup water. But that dou that doubling the fuel usage is a, is a great thing. That's that's a good thing to catch. So way to go, grit and grace. Has anyone said personal protection tools? Kind of, but we have to be very careful about it. Propane, pro, oh, Pro One water filter system. I haven't heard of that one. I still would not waste the litter of the jar. I mean, I have some canned water. I do have some canned water. I have less than a case of canned water because it just makes more sense to filter water but that's good for an emergency to have a little bit. Okay. Epic, 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 Cheryl. That's awesome. Generator. Generators are good, but if you're, if depending, if you're looking at a short-term solution to a short-term problem, then it's great. Um, if it's a long-term problem, that's a very short-term solution, but it buys you a window to get some ducks in a row moving forward. You know what I mean? Where'd that go? I have a Pro One, better filters than Berkey, and cheaper all around. Cool. You have some water stored in detergent drug. You know you can't drink that, right? Please don't drink that. Can you use 
use lids for water. Well, if you're going to, I mean, are, hmm, these are some open-ended questions that I, you know, I'm not comfortable with. I don't believe in using used lids unless you're going to use them for keeping dried goods in jars. Okay. If you're looking to put water in a jar, make it airtight, can it so that it stays sealed, then no. Using half gallon jars as quartz are for food. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh, that was, wasn't that Jill? Wasn't that Jill? Wasn't Jill the one that got the one? <clears throat> I think it was Jill. That was epic. Mm-hmm. Yes. See, I like that. Testing strips for water. I like that too. That's a very good idea too. Okay. This chat is flying again. Yeah, it was great. Okay. So yes, as long as you know, not to drink it, that it's used, you know, it's not potable water, store water and bleach and detergent. Yes. For flushing the toilets, but it's not potable. Yep. Hello, hello. Yes, that was Jill. That was Jill with the Berkey that had no electrical cord. It was awesome. Okay, so we looked at alternative cooking sources, right? So how many of you stock up on paper plates, plasticware, cups, you know, the disposable cups, all that disposable eating utensils? Or are you somebody that has a set of like the Boy Scout pots and pans that I showed. Good and grace. Awesome. Awesome. I just got the water cubes to fill and put under my bed. Nice. Susan Proctor. That's good. Covers corner suburban homestead. Hello. I store the detergent bottles with the spouts. So they can be used for hand washing. Good idea. Yep. The good, the good China. That's funny, Karen Voller. Okay. So yeah, I mean, you guys have seen my hauls from years ago. I have paper plates. I have solo cups. I have plasticware. I have had the same. I bought a 500 pack of forks and a 500 pack of spoons. And I think that I've had them like seven years now and I haven't even used half of them. Okay. So they're strictly for big parties or emergencies. Um, paper plates, honest to God, I'm tired of running the dishwasher. And in the wintertime, we just, you know, we finish our dinner and we put them in the wood burner. It's great. Yes, like Lisa Brandt says, have stainless steel plates and bowls set aside. Yes. Fire starters are beautiful, right? Okay, I can I can kind of relate with this one, Catherine. I can. Yeah. Um, we are having an electrician here later this month to install a plug on our water pump. You should be able to plug it into it. Nice. Perfect. There, one fly. One fly when I turn the camera on. Sterno is great, right? Brian V has foil, duct tape, and a paracord. He must have been fun at the hardware store that day. Mm-hmm. Susan Walls, that's what started me on it. That's what started me on. Um, because we used to have family dinners. And I'm like, I can spend all night doing dishes or I can torment you people after dinner. So, yep. We ended up investing in stainless steel plates and use them all the time. Love them. Yep. Up, up, up. Um, dun, dun, dun. okay. I'm trying to keep up here. Okay. Nice. Trash bags. Who's got multiple kinds of trash bags and a lot of them. I don't have to buy kitchen trash bags for probably another three, four years now. <sighs> but you know what my favorite ones are? Those contractor trash bags. You know, they're big enough to put a body in. Hint. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so a fun fact, Greg is related to the guy who invented Cherno. So now we can say that we know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. <laughs> Buy cheap things like lighters now. Lots of trash bags. Three sizes. Yes. Can't have enough trash bags. I think I can. Oh, yes. Now, we're now saving our old feed bags. Um, and we're taking them to our wood guy who fills them with sawdust. And we put the sawdust down in the coop in the run uh, for the winter. But, yeah, there's there's always ways to supplement them. Hello, Lori H. Welcome, fellow Michigander. It's good to see you here. <clears throat> a burn barrel is a great thing. I love our burn barrel. Yeah. If you have a generator, buy a single burner to plug in. Good idea. Heather Kennedy saves your dryer lint. Yep. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, yeah. I have a wood chipper and pigs. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ziploc bags, trash bags, et cetera, before oil prices spike. Mm-hmm. I mean, literally, um, I think I've got a few years worth of all of the above there just because uh, of hunting season, and I never know what these guys are going to do, so I'm, I just stocked up. I found a really great deal, and I stocked up. Hardcore. Uh, let's see. There you go, Brian V. There you go, Brian V. Deborah has one for you. Grate your spam, pickles, onion, shredded cheese, miracle whip to make a sandwich and make open face sand sandwich under a broiler. Okay, there you go, Brian. Seriously, though, a shovel is a good idea. I bought a couple of the army. Oh, yeah. Um, we've got a couple that fold up really nicely that we put in the back of the truck for like wintertime. Um, we have multiple shovels, multiple shovels. And then for giggles, Phil went out and bought a new spade this summer. So, yeah, we are loaded. You, I, I don't think you can ever have too many shovels. Mm-hmm. Seed sprouting inside fresh greens in three days. Yay, Lisa. Fantastic. Okay. How about shampoo and conditioner? Shampoo, conditioner, toothbrushes, toothpaste, extra hairbrushes. Are you particular about your hairbrush? Who's particular about the hairbrush? Raise your hands. That is important backups to your backups to your backups, right? Extra handles for the shovels, grit and grace. Aren't you? You're not kidding me. You're not kidding me. Of course, I, I am guilty of running around um, yard sales and stuff like that looking for the broken rake heads, you know. Oh, I got to get. Okay. I forgot. I've still got my tools hanging underneath the, the gazebo. I have to get those in. Susan Proctor has it all covered. A few years worth. Perfect. Yes. Important question. Do we have a backup way to get together for MN? You know, that's a very serious question. That's a very serious question. Do we have a backup way to get together for Monday Night Live? We do not. We do not. So let's hope that I don't get kicked out of here sometime soon. You know, extra parts for the chainsaw. Good idea. Lime, not the fruit, in case you have to bury something. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Yeah, I wonder how long those are good for. Like the Brevecta, right? Um, ham, ham Radio Monday Night Live. Can you imagine the setup that we would have to do? So the video that I did the other day, you guys, just, I, I feel the need to say this. Okay. 
because I know that we spend a lot of time going, I can't believe I have to pay this much for this. And I can't believe I have to pay this much for that. And I have, <clears throat> I know, I know that there's a lot of people out there struggling, a lot of people out there struggling right now. And what I tend to forget because I'm, I live here, I'm hyper-focused in the United States, right? Um, is wow. We're sitting here kind of complaining and whining because turkeys are 99 cents a pound and over in the UK and in the Netherlands. And I forget where else I saw the prices are double and triple that Canada never saw decent prices for Thanksgiving this year. We have got it pretty darn good. And uh, even though we're always there trying to squeak out the last little penny, you know, and I know there's a lot of people having a really tough time, man, man, oh man, oh man. We've got it pretty good compared to pretty much all the other countries, right? So, um, Take, take a hot minute. I have to, I, I am struggling so hard with that, Greg. I am struggling so hard with that, but I'm going to, I'm going to make it a priority for 2024 again. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Today at, okay. So Wanda says today at the store, turkeys were $1.89 a pound. Yep. I do not have a Faraday container. Because what am I going to store in there? I use everything. Turkey on sale in Norway is a dollar fifty. See, I'd get tired of listening to me if I were you, Sven. I'd, I'd be like, Lisa, shut up. Do you know how much we pay for this here? Oh, Susie's mom made spam burgers. They were delicious. Okay, wait a minute. A five-gallon bucket with sand and used oil to clean and shower. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was still on the, I was, I was back on the Faraday. What is a Faraday container? <sighs> okay. So it is a grounded container that theoretically, if you put your, um, has anybody tested the whole microwave thing? Um, that theoretically, if you put your electronics inside the Faraday cage and there was a solar flare or an EMP, um, it would not wipe out your electronics. I don't know what good they would be because everybody else's electronics would be wiped out. But it's it's. I think at this point, it's still a theory though, isn't it? But I do believe, um, I have a few. Okay, so yeah, they have the Faraday bags, which I'm, I'm interested in those. That makes more sense. But yes, a dead microwave. Yeah, Darlene, right? Yeah. Um, oh, there you go. Okay, see, that's what I was wondering about. That's what I was, oh wait, see now I'm getting conflicting information here. They say it works, they say it doesn't work. Um, put an emergency radio in the Faraday cage, yeah. Um, we don't realize how good we have it here. Can't live without coffee. Well, commentary, I mean, we are hitting my Achilles heel right there. I can, I can be, I, I'm here. How well I function is another thing altogether. Okay, wait a sec. Yes, it worked for the national alarm test they did a few weeks ago. Really? Did it? So the microwave worked for that test. No, you cannot fit your truck in there. See, that's okay, because if 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 that rate, if that broadcast system alert that went out, um they had okay, I'm I'm gonna get off on something and I don't want to. So I still don't know. How's that? I still don't know. Um, everybody's got their first aid kit up to snuff. It's winter time. Do you have your first aid kit up to snuff? Let me know. I have seven jars of Taster's Choice. There you go. Oh, that a friend left you hate coffee. That's funny, Karen. Who's got their first aid kit up to snuff? Good 
point, Kaylin. Yeah. Where would you ground it? I don't know. You keep talking about this winter thing. Well, yeah, because like probably next week it's going to snow here. I have no idea. Now they've switched their mind. They've changed their mind and Michigan is not going to get precipitation, but it's still going to be ungodly cold. I'd rather have the precipitation. <clears throat> we need the precip precipitation. Okay, good. Very, very good. I'm glad. Working on your first aid kit. First aid kits are super important, you guys. <clears throat> Jan Stroud, I've seen that, and I just don't know. I just don't know. Technically, it is nice for November. We hit 55 today, even though um, it was like 25 mile an hour winds. No snuff in the first aid kit, but it might be good to add. It might be. I have more than one first aid kit. Yes, Judy Durbin. Have more than one first aid kit. I couldn't agree more. I think we've, oh, I mean, we're into totes, okay? So we have we have a pretty extensive first aid kit, and I still don't have everything that I want. Greg, you are bailing on me anyway. You are deserting me, abandoning me, leaving me for dead in the cold, dark north so that you can go lollygag around in the south. You need snow before you go. Yes, a book on first aid is a great idea. Seriously, we're not going to memorize. Unless you're in the business, you're not going to memorize it all. So having some kind of reference material makes a really big deal. Mm hmm. I would like a checklist first aid like the list you made. <laughs> Nikki, the thing is, I, uh, I am not in the medical field. I have no training. I have no expertise in that field. I have just gone by what um, life has thrown at me. Okay. So I think that first aid kits are very individual and unique to the people that they that they are there for okay um i would honestly i would i would direct you to google um basic first aid kits then amp up from there check out that video that i did with that trauma kit that i bought i really love that and if you look at the comments there were some really good suggestions in the comments that i took that i took to heart and added to that kit so um but they're, they're all, it's all very individual to, to people, you know, that are using it. Yeah, we had snow on Halloween too. I mean, it's just not right. Poor kids. Stocked up on Neosporin. Does Neosporin last forever though? I don't know. I had a huge plastic bin with everything. Oh, commentary, not in your basement. No. Claire Hendrickson is in the house. Everybody say, hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Claire's, Claire's a rock star. Rock star. Okay. So she was out today making me feel lazy, chainsawing up all her winter wood. So she spruced up all three of hers last week and went through her first her old first responder kit too. You are a first responder too. When I grow up, I want to be Claire. I'm never going to be Claire. I'm never going to be Claire, but she's pretty cool. No, Brian, I refuse to talk about that. I'm not talking about that, Brian. Not going to do it. I didn't think, I didn't think so. I thought it kind of expired at some point or another. Um, Yes, yes, yes. Where'd that go? I love books, right? So books about skills, gardening, medical, and other old living books. Yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We cannot get fish antibiotics anymore. Nope, it's not an option anymore. I think since June, June or July. And Manuka honey is amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
They stopped selling it in the bigger tubes, though. It's it's crazy. They, I mean, we used to get we used to get cortisone type tubes. Now they're all like this. Sorry, you don't need to see all that. But anyway, yeah. So now you can only get the small ones. Cortisone, yeah. My fingers is giving me some issues. Um, and I was working on the walnuts today. I was working on the walnuts today. I had my rubber gloves on and still it got in there and it died. You probably can't see it real well. It died my finger and my fingernail. Oh yeah. The Manuka honey is amazing. These are all some great ideas. Yes, Brenda, all kinds of, oh yeah, bag ball, Marianne, right? Um, definitely make, learning how to make salves and stuff is great. Manuka honey also goes by another name. It's called Thermo honey and it does come in a bigger tube. When did they do that? Because the, the first time Phil cut his finger off, we were doing Manuka honey and then with this foot injury, we were looking at adding it, but it was such a small what was that called? Thermo, honey. Huh. You guys are genius. Why did they do that to us? Why did they switch it up? Med what? Med honey. Not Maduka, honey. Med. Manuka, honey. I'm not finding Thermo, honey. I put in Thermo, honey, and it brings me a bunch of weird stuff. And Phil says med honey. He's paying attention tonight, you guys. Say hi to Phil. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Med honey. Oh, that's the stuff that we were getting, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, now he tells me. Yeah, I'm looking more into this collodial silver. silver. I know a lot of people use it. We have not. Hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. Yeah, Meta Honey comes in a large tube. Now I feel better because that stuff worked fantastic. Adult coloring books and puzzle books and any kind of books to read. Yeah, if uh, if the world ends tomorrow, I am uh, I'm gonna miss Audible for sure. Yep, tea tree oil, Meta Honey. You guys are awesome. Can't even have space. Add a jar of water. Yes. Everybody says, hi, Phil. I need to learn more about collodial silver before I go giving it to my animals. Seriously, pure peace. I never, I, I always thought that witch hazel was just, you know, an astringent for your face. And so I never had it around. I honestly did not find out till this summer that, how, how good it is for medical purposes. So yes, witch hazel is very good. No, Greg and Brian, you must stay on opposite ends of the room. You are not allowed to talk to each other. You are not allowed to converse. You are to ignore each other. Wow. Okay. A lot of stuff. Stop calling me names, Brian. Brian's calling me Hazel, the witch. <laughs> See? There he is, calling me names. It's terrible. Oh, Thera Honey Gel. Okay, I will, I will look into that too. I will look into that too. Thank you very much. Um, medicinal what? Salves? Shard, do you have any books on medicinal salves? Okay, I have 618 witnesses, Brian. 618 witnesses for your potential vandalism. And, and Greg, Greg says, I'm in, I mean, 
You two are not allowed to talk to each other. Okay. Yeah, Char has books on medicinal salves. Are you in the Facebook group? Because that would be a good uh, offline chat for sure. Okay, so as a reminder, we are still doing the fundraiser for the food bank. Okay, uh, we only have a little bit left to go. It's going to close out. I am thinking I'm going to shut it down on Friday. Um, so for anybody that has contributed, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for helping so many people. 4,200 households uh, in northeastern Michigan are having trouble putting food on the tables. And it is seriously, seriously needed. So I greatly appreciate all of your help. I have trolls, TPing trolls. That's funny. Okay. Um, I appreciate your help in making this happen. Uh, if you could, everybody give a big shout out to Wayne Kellner, Chuck Norris. Uh, thanks, Brian. Um, for the great giveaway prizes. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, as soon as I find, oh, you know what I did? I was sitting here talking and I rolled up my list. Calamine and anti-itch. Seriously. Uh, thank you guys. It's at $4,475. $4, now, thank you very much. I appreciate it. it. It's something that's near and dear to my heart. Trying to help as many people as we can. Thank you. Okay, so please join me in giving a big round of applause to our amazing moderators. Okay. We have Charlie Marcus, Charmy Bradbury, Jump Off a Cliff. We have Amy Faye, Brian, six foot, three inches of Spam and Cranberry Sauce V. We have Darcy from the Purposeful Pantry. And we have Greg, MI Camp 45 HC. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we, oh, somebody had asked about the uh, Pantry Pals. Pantry Pals is our membership. The link is down below if you're interested in joining. Please don't feel obligated. We meet every single Thursday for our book club. And we meet the second and fourth Fridays of the month for a live chat with Just Pantry Pals. Cranberry flavored spam. You're the bomb, Brian. You're the bomb. Okay. I appreciate all of you being here so, so very much. Thank you for everything. Be sure to keep an eye out. We are going to be bringing you some cranberry sauce. Good cranberry sauce good cranberry sauce this week. And until next time, everybody, please be safe. Bye.